seven months. <laughs> Ready? Okay. This is George. He's about seven month old Greater Swiss Mountain Dog. Now, Lisa loves him dearly. And they have a big family. George is happy and silly and all this and that. Um, when she called me, she told me, you know, he's really good for most everybody else, but he bites me. <laughs> okay, now his isn't, isn't biting, but it's not appropriate for mouth on skin anyway. You, you have to, because you have a lot of people in your house, he's going to get older, guardier, you know, tougher, all that. It's probably because you played with him when he was a puppy with your hands and you never really made it clear to him that it wasn't to happen. Now, there's some inconsistencies in Lisa's family. Most of the other people wouldn't let him treat them disrespectfully. Lisa feels bad because it's her baby so, we have inconsistency in the way this dog is handled. Therein lies the problem with him treating you differently than everybody else. Now, she, she is in a family, they've had big animals, and they treat animals like animals. Lisa wants this dog to be her little buddy. Now there has to be a good balance or he is not going to treat you with respect. Because they set the bar up a little higher than you, he sees you as way too nice. He sees you as you're a pushover, and you are. Okay, now we talked about this on the phone and Lisa's husband, not a bad guy, but just doesn't like all the foolishness that you're trying to talk him into using. Dog, knock that off. And he means it. So for that, you know, it, it's like one end of the scale and the other. He's got to soften up a little bit. Lisa's got to get a little tougher, and we'll be right. Okay. Now, I've known members of your family for years, probably before you. <laughs> okay, which is fine. But they knew that an animal was not to be disrespectful because with horses, it just gets uglier. And when you've been around large animals, you treat them like livestock, you're kind, you're fair to them, but they don't treat you badly. Your mindset is we try to talk them into it. No, no. So the key to success is, first of all, understanding that the dog was born trained. He was bred to have instinctual behaviors that he knows how to pull a cart. It makes perfect sense to him. He knows how to carry burdens on his back. He knows how to guard. He knows how to do all those things. He's a task dog. He's bred to be respectful of a leader. He's got great work ethics. The only problem with this dog is he doesn't understand English. So when you talk to him, instead of make him do something, he doesn't understand what that is. And then, hi you, good boy. The only way he can ask you a question is to test you. It's the only way. Good boy. Now, because of the description that I got before we started, I put a pinch collar on him. I don't need that pinch collar. You can see this dog is very respectful of a correction. 
Now, that's one thing that your husband has done for him. He hasn't let him get by with that garbage. So the big part of this is done. He's not a disrespectful dog. He just needs to learn to respect you, and all will be well, because you're the one that wants to do stuff with him. Easy. Come here, you George. Hello, George. You know George, don't you? Yeah. Now, this dog, when he got out of the car, he wasn't sure whether he wanted me or not. He was curious, but I don't really get acquainted with them before they come in here. Easy, I know. Now, the temptation is to take a dog that's being obnoxious and rude and all those things and give him a bunch of good corrections. He doesn't even know what you want him to do. Easy. Good boy. Hi. Now, usually dogs of this age would be jumping all over people. <laughs> They'd be pulling all over. He's not. You've done some really good things with this dog. But she doesn't know how to communicate. That's it. All right. Now, this is the first, excuse me. This is our first introduction. I haven't done anything with this dog. All I've done is talk to him, watched him a little bit. And they are mouthy. Oh boy, easy. Now at seven months old, he's a 17 year old boy. He intends to party a little. He wants the car. Okay. Now the first three words we teach are come on, easy, wait. Good. Easy. Go ahead and try it. Easy. Good. Now this is horse training. If I can handle a 1,200 pound animal like this, he's nothing. We don't want a horse to be afraid of, hey, now you, easy. Thank you very much. Oh. Easy means lessen your intensity. You, easy. Good. I don't care if he sits, I don't care what he does, as long as he's easy. Now, two kids playing together, you tell them to be easy. Don't play so rough. It's exactly what we're telling them. These are words you'd say to kids. Good, easy, I know. Hey, George, come on, come on. Good, easy. Wait, good. Wait, just like that. Now, when I say, I said, wait, you up the volume. You aren't gonna do anything harder. That's all I've done, wait, good wait. He has to understand what the words mean before we can say them and expect him to, good wait, you wait. Excellent wait. That's what you want him to do when you're walking. Now, if he gets used to every time you say wait, you walk away, why that's the beginning of a secure wait wherever you are. Good wait. With me, come on. Good, come on. Good, easy. Wait, good wait, excellent wait. Now he's gonna work for praise, far more than he's gonna work for correction. You wait, off comes your head, good dog. I can say anything I want to to him, but he doesn't know what it means. He only knows what we take the time to teach. Wait, you better wait, good down. Now he's testing me 
to see what the parameters of this are. Weight means in that area, right there. Good weight. So he needs to learn to wait even if I move. Good weight. Good job. You wait. He's bred to do this. Good weight. Good weight. Excellent waiting dog. Come on, babe. Easy. Wait. I want to talk to the neighbor. Hi there. Good to see you. Wait. Wait. Nobody cares. It's attitude. Now, I don't have to do anything hurtful to him, but I have to sound like I mean it, and that's probably, you have the very sweet voice. Wait. Come on, George. Uh-uh, ain't gotta cut it. Wait. Oh, what an excellent dog. Now that's sitting out of respect. When the boss approaches, you lower yourself. That's what he's doing. Good weight. Oh, look at how cute you are. Come on, short man. Good. Oh, what a good dog you are. Now, by tying him in the center, he can't crowd me. Easy. Hey, you easy. Wait. You better wait. Good. Good weight. Good sit. Good weight.